We're joined by Hugo Holland, Special Assistant DA here in Caddo Parish and several other parishes. Um, busy flying out this morning to one of the uh, down to Lake Charles, so we got, he stopped by. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Let's talk about our public defender system and this potential of a class action lawsuit. This is a manufactured crisis by the members of the public defender board, and I don't make that claim lightly. But give me a few minutes to explain Excuse why me, this Mr. is coming. Hugo, pardon me. Give us a little background on what exactly this is and what they do, because I had asked you <clears throat> off the air. Does this have to do with the pro bono? appointing of lawyers pro bono to defend uh, people who can't afford them otherwise. You said not exactly. No, that that happens very rarely. Back in the 1960s, amongst other things that the United States Supreme Court did, they came up with a decision called Gideon versus Wainwright, which it forced on the states the obligation to provide a lawyer in criminal cases for people that could not afford one. And so every state has to come up with a mechanism of funding the public defender system. Without the public defender system, the criminal justice system can can't work. We have to have public defenders. Mm -hmm. And so uh, prosecutors, police officers, everybody wants the public defender system funded adequately. Now, the way Louisiana previously did it prior to 10 to 15 years ago is when you got a traffic ticket, first $45 off the top of court costs, guess who that went to? Public defenders. The public defenders. They get the largest chunk of court costs for traffic citations in the state. So this is, you're saying a manufactured? I'm I'm getting there to why it's manufactured. Okay. The $45 uh, that they were getting for traffic tickets was not sufficient to fund them appropriately. And so there were two other mechanisms the legislature Pardon put me, in place. That's, to, that's legit or that's their opinion? N- no, no, that's legitimate. Okay, they, okay. they needed more money. Okay. okay? Uh, increasing caseloads and whatnot. The legislature came up with two additional methods to fund them. Method number one, which I would suggest is by far one of the most the best methods, is the user pay system. If you are appointed a public defender, whether they have to spend 10 minutes on your case or 10 hours or 10 weeks, you have to pay them a $40 fee. So everybody that gets Public Defender Services is supposed to pay a $40 fee. The other way is a, a uh, an appropriation by the legislature, which for the past couple of years has been $33 million. Now, let me tell you why and how this crisis is manufactured, and it centers around the death penalty. Okay? Mm-hmm. The, the local judicial districts, local public defenders around the state have been doing a horrible job of collecting the $40 fee that they are due. Some districts collect up to 80% of the money that they have due. The vast majority of them collect less than 50%, and some of them collect less than 15%. So they're not collecting the $40 they're due from their clients. Additionally, of the $33 million a year that the legislature appropriates to the public defender board, that money's supposed to go to supplement the traffic ticket money and the $40 fee we just talked about. The first $3 million right off the top is administrative fees and FAT in Baton Rouge. Mm. The next $10 million, almost one-third of their entire budget, goes to private boutique law firms who have in excess of million-dollar contracts a year to do nothing but capital defense. In other words, they're spending one-third of their budget on less than one-half of one percent of their caseload. Now, they're going to continue to do that. And by the way, the money that is appropriated for capital defense goes to provide the worst of the worst criminals with a criminal defense team that the wealthiest of Louisiana citizens could not afford. Why, why can't the public defender's office handle these capital? Ca- are they just not qualified? No, they they are qualified. But when the state board was created, the state board does not have any true stakeholders. When I stake, say stakeholders, there are no members of uh, there are no uh, 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 members of the public defender's offices on the board. It's made up of liberal law professors and other people that don't have a stake in the system, with the exception of this the abolition of the death penalty. And so what they did is they took away from the local public defenders the authority to do it, even though local public defenders had been doing it for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. So do we do away with the death penalty? Would that solve the problem? Uh, Well, if you ask uh, victims' families of people that had been victims of these heinous crimes, should we do away with the death penalty, they would say no. I would say no because there is a place for that. So the death penalty is not the issue. The issue is that the state public defender board does not want want the $40 collected. 
They don't want the $45 collected. In fact, let me I can prove to you they don't want the $40 collected. Uh, the district attorney in Bossier West, Webster went to the local public defender in Bossier Webster and said, hey, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to get the sheriff to collect the 40 bucks for you for everybody that's arrested that bonds out of jail that you have to represent. The local public defender said, that's a great idea. Why don't you do it? After the local public defender checked with the state board, you know what the local public defender told the DA? What? We ain't doing that. And so the DA had to get the judges to agree to sign an order for the sheriff to collect the money. The state board told the local public defender, don't you collect that money. Why? What's the motivation? Because they want the system to be broke. They want to force the legislature either to do what you just suggested, which is abolish the death penalty or appropriate them more money, which I would suggest they would not use to defend the 20,000 people in Orleans, perhaps, that are not getting the representation they need. They're just going to use it for more anti anti-capital punishment. Or is there something crony, is there cronyism in, in hiring these multi-million dollar big boy law firms? I, I don't know the answer to that. What I can tell you is that if you do not uh, agree with the um, politics of the members of the board who you make the decision, the you, you don't get the jobs. What's the answer here, Hugo? Uh, the, the legislature has gone uh, uh, a long way towards fixing that by changing the makeup of the state public defender board. Uh, but something else that needs to be done, in my opinion, is we need to make them start collecting the money that they're due before we go reach into your pocket and my pocket. How much is money. not being collected? Do you have any idea how uh, much? Yes, sir. It's, uh, it's on the order of uh, four to five million dollars a year. And 40 bucks a pop. Yes. We're missing out on five million bucks. Right. And if they had that five million dollars, uh, they probably would have the money where they don't have to file this class action lawsuit. Wow.